Hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic World the game where today we're gonna see whether James stayed up till about five in the morning to unlock Spinosaur Gentle. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I did that. That was me. That was. <laughs> yes, you heard it here. Correct. James only had about like five to six hours sleep because I missed out on the last uh, tournament creature, which is why there was no uh, Jurassic World the game video. Um, when I can't remember what it was. Was it the Dilophosaur? It was something like that. But here we go. Spinosaur Gen 2. A dinosaur coming from Jurassic World Alive, I should say. So we got 500 bucks. You'll also notice we're almost on 10,000 bucks, which is <laughs> not going to last too much longer. And there it is. Spinosaur Gen 2. As, of course, the mo most highly coveted 2,600 VIP points. And here it is. So I think in the last episode, we talked about the bans that are coming to the game. Um, I mean, does it matter if we just instant hatch it? Does it make much of a difference? Ah, it still costs 250 bucks, though, to hatch it instantly. <laughs> so, may as well. Um, so, I think that coming... I think we got, like... I think it was the 25th of March, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, so, you, you know, quote me wrong and all that jazz. But I think it's the 25th of March. Um, people who have hacked the game have had a chance to appeal and say, uh... Um and not have their account completely banned. Um, which is which is so interesting to watch. Um, because certain YouTubers, uh, they're probably even watching this video and see like, oh, I wonder what he's going to say. <laughs> he mentions me. <laughs> uh, who are or have hacked the game now are just pumping out content. <laughs> all creatures this, all carnival animations, all this because <laughs> they know that once 20, the 20th of March clocks around, they're going to have their account wiped and they won't be, they can't be bothered to, um, to hack the game again and try and get all the dinosaurs. Now, I can understand why, because Ludia has made it a way that has made it really hard to just hack the game and get all the creatures instantly. So now you have to do battle stages to unlock certain dinosaurs. You can't just like get loads of, uh, you know, legendary packs. And even then, the reason why people hack the game is to do it quickly, right? So when they lose their accounts, they're gonna have to spend hours, if not days, to get to show a new creature or something that they need to do to get to a certain level. So in my head, that just shows that they never really cared about the game to begin with. It was just all about the money. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there you go, Ludia. <laughs> uh, so here it is, the first one. Some scientists speculate that Spinosaurs uh, had a... What the hell? There is a huge noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a huge noise outside. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, Spinosaurs had a hump for storing water inside of a sail. InGen rejected this theory when they designed both the original and Gen 2. <laughs> Spinosaur was supposed to be like a hidden project, wasn't it? Oh, well, anyway. There you go. So we have a Spinosaur Gen 2, and we will, of course, max it. Uh, so let me collect Ooh, another 35 bucks. Gonna need that. Uh, some super DNA, because we uh, finished in the top, didn't we? So now we also have had a change to boss DNA. Uh, ooh, there you go, you win more. Did he have to, what is he doing? Never mind, it's the grass cutter. <laughs> so, use 50 herbivore creatures. Oh, well, I've done that too. Uh, so we have this certain boss DNA for, or to help unlock Juggernaut 32. Now the thing is, what we could do is use this DNA to max up Omega 09. However, it's gonna take a long friggin' time to unlock, like, hatch 10 legendary creatures for 300 bucks. Uh, so we're gonna get eight of them anyway, because we're gonna get the Spinosaur. Uh, so, ooh, let's collect some of that. Let's also open a pack, see all oh, more books for the cause! Brilliant! Um, we'll get 30 DNA there. Ooh, I love this new mic. I can, like, I knew, I love the rig on this thing, because now I can pull it really close. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much nicer instead of like, I don't know, like I've got this new, um, it's like a road, I don't even know what it's called, but it's an arm that's like, it moves itself, well it doesn't move itself, but it can hold its position and everything, it's so nice to just like, sit in a nice position and just move the mic to you rather than you know you move towards the mic which to be fair to be honest my whole time uh having a youtube channel uh i've always been like it's always been like a stationary kind of mic where you can kind of move a little bit 
<gasps> what the heck? Why don't you even give me that trade? I can't even do that one. That's ridiculous. Also, we're getting closer and closer towards one million. Din oh, yeah. Oh, no. Concavenator. Was that a VIP? Balls. Oh, oops. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm just used to seeing some trade for DNA and go, yep, let's do that. Do three trades. Brilliant. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's go into here. Uh, in fact, actually, we can make it quicker. Oh, we have. Did you see that? We have an offer. £100 for one Spinosaur Gen 2. I bet you don't even unlock it. Just 100 quid to have it. Um, <laughs> brilliant. So we may as well feed it. Get to level 10. 757 health and 237 attack. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. Uh, it's so weird seeing Dress all the live dinosaurs come into this game. Uh, like we're used to seeing. Oh, and is he even book saved? Brilliant. Uh, sorry, uh, DNA saved. Definitely not book saved. So it's costing me 1,000 frigging books to speed this guy up. I don't. Guys, I, guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Uh, 1,000. It's like 2,000. What the flip? Um, why is it like that? Oh my god! And you know, I've I've only got one speed up, and even then, it still costs so many books. It's ridiculous. So I can do one, uh, what three thousand two hundred? I can only do two more. I can only so, to be honest, I can only get it to level thirty, which is what this is. So you know what? Let's get it to level thirty. We'll keep it like this. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm not made of books anymore, uh, I can't actually max it. Um, so we have two out of four. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Because I think I used them. Yeah, I did. They reset. What about the uh, instant hatches? Is it just one? I only have one instant hatch. So what is the next one that I'm going to get? Um... Oh, in two days, it's another instant hatch. Oh, well, thank you. Jesus. Okay, did we get a pack? No, we didn't. Damn. I was hoping we'd get a pack there. <laughs> you may as well end if there's a, 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 ch a chance to get a pack for the VIP exclusive offer kind of thing. You may as well do it. You may as well do it. Um, but uh, let's... let's. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, let's do this. So we're going to evolve it. Um, I'm not going to instant fuse this. Uh, we're just going to activate a regular fuse. Um, but for the next fuse to make another level 20 and the fuse after that to make the level 30, I will. I will uh, I will instantly fuse those two. His head looks less pale. That's interesting. Or looks more pale. Less red. So what does it look like at level 20? Somebody turned up the hue and saturation and moved uh, his uh, <laughs> hue and saturation or t tint or whatever up over to the purple scale. Oh, it looks like Spinonerix or whatever it's called. That hybrid. Okay, so we'll do the instant fuse for this one. Because I think it's... Oh, look at that gold. That looks gorgeous. I think we're about to get it back in two days anyway. So we may as well use them up. So there you go. Level 20, 1,296 health and 405 attack. Putting it on par with like a level 40 legendary. Like a regular one. So it's... it's <laughs> it's the, the state of the game that we're at. The level <laughs> we're at. So I do apologize if you very faintly hear... Uh, a lawnmower in the background. Um, <laughs> I, I know when, like, I've watched YouTubers and like, oh my god, that sound in the background. I'm like, I can barely hear it. Stop bringing it up. But when you're recording, it's so obvious. Like, shut up, damn it. <laughs> there you go. Level 30. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Not a very bright purple. So at level 30, it has... 1,976 health and 618 attack. Maybe that's more on par with a level 40 legendary. Like a, a good one, like a T-Rex. I'd say that one is. Uh, so we may as well collect 44,000 food. Spinosaurus and Spinosaurus Gen 2 both have nostrils that are located near the eye, just like a crocodile. And this one, which gives us 100 bucks. Uh, both Spinosaurus have a, a longer length and heavier weight than T-Rex, making them the biggest dinosaurs in Jurassic World. Is that true? More than Indominus Rex? I don't believe that for a second. And three hundo! Damn! Three hundred of that. Oh, and then we fuse two of those. Now, these are the new boss, like, daily missions. Or I should say, like... I mean, you heard that, right? That was the lawnmower outside. <laughs> I mean, these ones... Ah, oh, it sucks, right? Because... So I used to be able to exit out of PVPs as soon as they start and get those missions. Fuse two Trandons, fuse two amphibians, 
uh, Hatch 3 Aquatic, Aquatics and Fuse 2 Caves. These are like not easy to do, I don't think. Um, like the complete the daily missions isn't too bad. Uh, fuse 4 Jurassics. I can definitely do this. Um, especially the amphibians. Uh, hatch 3 Super Res. I mean, that's going to come with hatching the aquatics. So all we really need to do is go into here. And it does help out that I just need to hatch aquatics anyway. Um, so Dakosaur. Uh, so but that's 8 hours. So it's three aquatics, right? As soon as these missions start, you need to put in an aquatic if you don't want to speed it up. Um, and because I've already kind of started, um, I need to... Um, I'll put in Protostego as well for 10 bucks. Why not? And I'll also put in... Uh, so that that should be the hatching, the... What do you call it? Um, so 25 bucks. That's not really much, is it? So in nine hours, I should do the mission to hatch three aquatics. I should have the mission to hatch three super rares. Because um, I don't really want to spend hundreds of bucks on this. Even though I spent, what was it, like 500 bucks to get an expansion? <laughs> it was really not worth it. Hatch 15 pterosaurs. I don't think that's too bad because I think a Lanqua can be uh, knocked out of the park pretty quickly with that. Same with Triceratops with the herbivores. Um, and the carnivores should be pretty easy with Majungus. Oh, hold on. No, that's for that one. Never mind. So the fuse two caves. Okay, so let's fuse some caves. <laughs> let's go into here. Uh, what would be the cheapest? Um, okay, so, well, that's a cave. That's a cave. I'm just trying to see if we've got any caves that are hatched. And yeah, there we go. At least this way, I, I guess I can level up. So does this count as a fusion there? Or do I have to complete the fusion? I assume I have to complete the fusion. So is that Deodocorus? Yeah, Deodocorus. So that is that one done. Um, and then let's fuse this guy. So it's costing us 30 bucks. And luckily, it was only 60 bucks to do that. So I've traded 60 bucks um, to fuse to... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized what a cave is. It's one of these. That's a cavern. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, Dacosaurus. Yeah, let, let's get some Dacosauruses on the go. <laughs> oh, and of course this doesn't fuse instantly. Of course this was this one doesn't. Oh, and it fails twice. So there you go. All the books we spent to what I thought was to complete the mission. Uh, there you go. And an extra 50% done on just one. Oh, that counts. Oh, 10 fuses. Oh. Oh, okay, so two, 250 more. Whoa. Okay, well, we still need to do the um, the other one. Uh, so we'll do one of these. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of good in a way because it gets me to do more stuff around my park rather than I felt as though I didn't have to do anything to do these missions. Whereas now I'm like, okay, well, I have to spend bucks if I, you know, if I want to crack these out now. Um, so there we go. That's that one done. Um, in the this, so that's 18. Hatch three products, but we're on our way. Fuse two pterosaurs and fuse two amphibians. Okay, so we're gonna look at the cheapest with the limo limo limo, which we should. Oh, it's not. It's not even in the park. Well, there it is. So we need to fuse these guys. Oh my god, hold on, guys. 180, 1,000, five bucks, 15 bucks. We got for that. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, um, so we'll, we need a fuse. Uh, this should be free, right? Yeah, nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love seeing the freebie. Uh, and I think we need to fuse another one, don't we? Uh, so let's fuse you. Why did? Oh yeah, that was the next one. Okay, speed up for free. Brilliant, brilliant. And you should. Oh, I was gonna say you shouldn't be able to fail this. I guess. Well, you do. It co does cost some DNA to do it. <gasps> Do you remember the days, guys? Do you remember when we used to do this? Oh, you fusing them a level level and being like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> oh, so there you go. Fuse four, four Jurassics and two Amphibians. So that is 168 DNA right there. Um, so we need to fuse two Pteranodons. Um, hatch three Super Airs, which we're already doing. We're, we're doing the Aquatics on the Super Airs. So all that's left is use 40 amphibian, Amphibious Creatures and fuse... Uh, two? Bloody hell! What is going on? I just had bird, a bird like fly past my window now. <laughs> Everything's attacking, guys. Help! Send help, please. Oh, this guy isn't... Oh, where is he? 
Where is he? Col Col Colombo. I bet he's gonna... Uh, but yeah, there we go. Is this gonna be another 15 bucks? Yeah! Oh, 16 bucks for this guy. Brilliant. Uh, so let's fuse him. And it should be free, right? We're still, we're still at, like, yeah, the first ever uh, Pteranodon. I think, is it Hatsogoptrix, the first ever Pteranodon? I could be wrong. I mean, I am spending food on this, but it's not much. Like, not, not, nothing that it, like a day of playing the game can't get back. So there you go. That's that one done. Oh, 250! Beautiful. Well, it's not, I was hoping for that one. So it was 268 there. Um, so the next is do the missions and use 40 uh, amphibians. So... The mission should be, if you choose to accept it, um, I mean, spending food, we should have already got that mission. Um, but the other one that we need to do is, like, get mods, I think. Because the daily missions haven't changed. Oh, Invigorate, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I may need... No, I would have thought I would have got the mission to feed right by doing the Spinosaur. Oh, another Invigorate. Oh, this is... Oh, I like this one. And the final one, and that should do us... Um, the daily mission. It should be, unless it's already carried over, but I don't think it has. I think it's already reset. Yep, so that's that done. So one daily mission out of, well, four and nine done. So we need to open three card packs, which we uh, can already do one because we need to do that. PvP battle events. Now, I used to be able to exit out of those things. Um, I don't think I can do that anymore. But one thing we need to do anyway, just as a general, is ooh, we could do battle for survival. Yeah, I mean, this is an easy one to do. Uh, all we need to do is that and then that, and that's good. So we enter in, we do one shot right off the bat, do the speed up for the battle. So there we go. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was going to reach over and make it echo, but um, whoopsie daisies. I was like, oh, I don't even have the effects on. I, I could have been like, oh, no, but uh, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, and then just two solid hits, even if he blocks. Well, he could have blocked too, but there you go. We've got three battles of this to do, so that's one of the packs that we'll guarantee. And then we need to do the battle stage infinite pack as well. Did the game just crash? Oh, okay, just, just didn't want me to uh, have that. Uh, so then these two, and these should be instant hits as well. I wonder if I made my Alangosaurus to level 40. Um, if these would get harder. I kind of don't want to. I'm in a nice sweet spot where it's a three battle thing. Two of the battles I don't even have to pay attention to. All I need to do is just go for attack, 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 attack. And that's it. I've won for the first two. So there you go. And the final one is one where I might need to concentrate a little bit because I, do I don't kill them instantly. Yeah, so if anything, I guess I need my Pelicanopteryx to be level 30 as well. And that way, I can do this and not even think. So there's two hits. I mean, really, I've got so much more health than him. Uh, and that's it. There you go. That's it. We've won. Oh, no. Whoops. I just went for two. You fool, James. Well, we've definitely won anyway. The two, there's two of them. Um, oh, that's what I could have done. I could have used my uh, the fusions that I needed to do anyway. I could have just had them on this guy. Okay, well, we'll go for that anyway. We'll factor in the one that he might have had for the block. And there you have it. Wasted it. A new Taraptor comes in, uh, only has three. I'm going to have four men next turn, so I'll kill him anyway. <laughs> the perks of going first. Uh, oh, no! The perks of going first! Death! <laughs> uh, so we may as well just... Uh, two, and then four. Four YOLOs. Ha <laughs> ha! Should get extra points for that. Extra DNA. Should get 100 DNA for each one you put in. So there we go. And there's the... Uh, see, there's all of the food that we, uh, we expended fusing the commons. And then some. And now we have to do the Battle Stage Infinite, which is unfortunately a VIP pack. Now we do need... A good thing is we need to use amphibians. Uh, anyway, for the, the missions now. <laughs> because you can tell I was... <gasps> oh my good god. I've just seen the attack and health and everything on this team. Um, oh my god. I don't think... Eops is dead in one hit from Gorgo, man. He's dead. He's dead. Um, oh, God. Um, guys, I, I mean, I think what's going to happen is Met Metrorankus is going to come in uh, once Gorgosuch just comes out. Um, and then I need Metrophodon. And then I guess like Udon. But damn, those are some incredible. <laughs> 
<laughs> pretty crazy opponents. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Um, sixth. All right, he can't kill me in two hits. Uh, although he does, like, over 8,000 damage in two hits. Um, he didn't actually switch. Um, yeah, I was hoping he blocked that. Oh, we gotta be careful. This is, this is dangerous, man. We've already, like, half this attack, but even at half, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna have to go for that, I think. I'm gonna have to. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we've got three, is it? Yeah, so we're gonna only be hit one. Please go for three. Oh, yay! <laughs> yay! Okay, so he's got nothing. We've got six. One, two, three, four kills him, and then two reserve. Ha <laughs> ha! And I think that has won us the match. I think we're good now. I think so. I think we're good. 4,500. He goes for four. Yep, because he can kill us in two. Brings in a 7,800 attack. Yeah. Uh, so one, two, and then four reserves. Um, and yeah, Yudon can come in and look at Draco Rex's attack. Six thousand. <laughs> Woo! If only I could get level two hundred fifty-eight Draco Rex. Whoa! <laughs> when it could have killed me in one. And in comes Yudon. Seems like an unfair match, but uh, there you go. We can go ten thousand damage, which we don't get to do, unfortunately. Um. Because the Draco Rex blocked one of them, so it's only 8,000. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Feathers does it! So there you go, 100 uh, DNA and another mystery pack. So 30 bucks for nothing, although we did need to use our best creatures. Uh, 30 of that as well. Oh, the next ones are rare! <gasps> oh my god, we, we could be guaranteed three... Well, not guaranteed, but we could get 300 bucks from that. So that is another daily mission. Um, nothing else we've done in here? No? Okay, so next thing is participate in PvP and do a co-19. So if you ever- Wait, we got mission? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever want to trigger co-19s, what I found is you just keep on going in and out of dinosaur enclosures. I don't think it even has to be the same one. Although saying that, maybe I'm wrong. Like just switching the dinosaurs a little bit. Where's my co-19s? Uh, Code co co 19? No! Okay, never mind. We don't want to do that, apparently. Um, so we should. You know, I'm gonna try this. We need to do three different creatures. So let's do a cavern. Let's put Titan Bow in. Let's see how that goes. So, th two really weak creatures, one really strong one. What will the PvP AI do? Um, ooh, interesting, interesting. Um, we should have won this fairly easily. I mean, it's just kind of the pucky ceratops that's the problem. But apart from that, I think we're good. The, the Sagasuka is maybe also a problem, but the thing is, he's going to swap out his Monolophosaurus and switch in the Sarko. Oh, in comes the sneaky snake. Um, I mean, if you don't have time... Two. Oh, unfortunately, we have to go for three. If you don't have time to do all of the PvP uh, missions, let's say the best one to go for, if you need, to, if you got like, if you can do, if you got time to do one PvP battle, do the aquatic one because that once you do the aquatic PvP battle for the daily missions, you're guaranteed thirty-five bucks. Um, oh look, there you go. See, switched in like I thought so, and he went for an attack like I thought so, and because that's a level two Monolophosaurus. Um, we can just go for a reserve there and guarantee the kill anyway. And we will get it anyway, because we went first and you always get one extra. <laughs> it seems like when they came up with this game, um, about, oh, well, you know, if you go first, you get to do an attack. And that seems a bit unfair on the second player. So on the second turn, instead of having one as well, they go for, they have two. So maybe there's an advantage to going second. There honestly isn't. That you're always one attack ahead if you go first. Because, like, if you go first, and your first turn you get one attack, then two, then three, then four. If you play two, you get two, two, three, four. It just, it it, it seems so uh, unbalanced. And that's why when you do PvPs and you do tournaments, uh, for a while, Ludia actually fiddled with it so that you would sometimes go second. And it just seems so unfair. Because you go second, you're basically like going, oh, brilliant, I've lost. Uh, <laughs> also, you know what we're going to do? 
Do you know what we're going to do? Uh, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to put in Hanotis. And we're going to do... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to do the best tactic. We're actually going to do uh, this one. Um, and what do, I, what do I put on them? I think I put Nullify. I put Nullify on Hanotis. And then... Do I want to just boost its attack? Should I just alpha it? Well, how much is alpha? Oh, alpha's only 100. Never mind. What's better? Is it... Uh, what's rally? Is it 10%? So that's 140 attack. Ooh. Let's put... Yeah, 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 let's give him extra attack. Let's just give him extra attack. Okay, now this is going to be a tricky one. I, I usually do this with giving... Oh... Yeah, I think we got this. Maybe... Yeah, I think so. I think so, because we're going we're gonna to nullify him. So the split wound, which he's taken off, I think should be nullified now. And uh, the intimidation won't be, though. Oh, they get more attack. Oh, he just gets more attack. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for the nullify to kick in. Um, or maybe the split wound doesn't. Wait, what? Wait, I, I attached nullify, right? Disable opposing creatures mods. What a load of rubbish! Ludia, what are you playing at? I should have I should have nullified him! And he shouldn't have got that split wound off! What a load of rubbish! <laughs> oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Um I might have to switch it like I have to keep her notice alive. I have to. I have to. So I'm just going to have to switch out a Draco and then just go for two reserves. I thought, like, I shouldn't have taken a hit at the moment. That shouldn't have happened. Because I should have nullified him. I don't know why he went first. He's he's a lower sort of level. And he's also a lower ranked creature. So it's not like he had priority or anything. Okay, so there's three. I wonder if I can nullify it now. I mean, I guess I nullify the other ones when they become active, I suppose. Once they come in. So one, two, three... I don't know if he had any extra. Oh my god, are you freaking serious? He had so much. I wasn't even paying attention. Can I just quit? That's so unfair. If he attacks me, I'm just closing the game. Sort out. Like, that was... That shouldn't have happened. Oh! I still might be able to chance. I just need to pay attention here. I still might be able to chance. I'm not getting any extra attack bonuses now that I'm foddering these guys. Okay, so he's got eight. One, two, three, five. So he should go for six. He should go for six. Is he going to go for six? Come on, just go for six. This is one thing I hate about PvPs and tournaments. How they just fake. They fake thinking. I mean, the, the, the AI has already selected the move, but it's on like, must wait till timer reaches blah. So he's got three blocks. So one, two. Uh, do, oh, that would have killed him with my attack bonuses. And then one, two, three. And then I've just got to go for two reserves. Uh, and he does go for it. Oh, I, we are going to win this by the skin of our teeth. But my God. Is it not for bloody trying? Uh, so now I can nullify. So now intimidation is no longer a thing. So I get more um, more attack, which doesn't really matter against him. And he's also probably going to swap out. Um, and his attack, which has been buffed, will also get nullified. So, uh, <laughs> and we just need to kill it. So we just go all out. Just go all out to attack this thing. Yes. Wabosh! And there it is. Victory. So yes, Protostega comes in with like what eight or God knows whatever. Um, but it uh, it only has 43 attack as opposed to two friggin' thousand. Um, and it's seven, da like seven attacks. How much is that going to be? Five. How much is five? Oh, 300. Guys, 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 guys. We're going to be careful. I am as just attack. Yeah. Go for the attack. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was a modded battle and the highest uh, prize I think we can earn. So let's see what we get from this. Also nice to see the other environments as well. The other battle arenas that this game has to offer. Uh, so the elite boosted prizes. So we have a 5% chance to get micro SDNA and a 1% actual 1% chance to get uh, freaking Raj's Stega. A 1% chance. That's pretty high. Usually it's always like less than one. Um, oh, 30 bucks? Heck yeah. What was the what was the entry for that? 10 bucks. Okay, well, we got 20 back. That's not too bad. Um, and I think the final one that we need to do 
is just a regular battle. So I'll just I'll just go for Tijongasaurus because solid. <laughs> I mean, we, not only did we get 20 bucks for doing that battle, but we also got 35 bucks for the event as well. Oh, we've definitely lost. So we just won this battle over as quickly as possible, really. So we're just going to go for like one. We're just going to go for attack, attack, attack. Um, because he'll know that he can kill us in two and we have nothing. Because it'll do 40, 52, 53, 54, 55. How many will it do? How much damage? 50 odd. It's got to be 50 odd, right? Oh, 58. I was low balling it. Okay, so we went for two attack. So we know that two attacks can kill us. So we'll just go for another one, forcing him to kill us because he's going to do again. Um, and we might... I don't... I oh, know, we won't be able to kill him next time. So we'll just go for another attack. <laughs> Remember, we don't need to win these PvP battles. We just need to participate. Little participation award. And there's another two. Oh, two jungles. Oh, you stupid. And there's another one. Actually, we will be able to kill him because we, we're going for three attacks now. Oh, man, we got a kill. Get in. I love how they added that bent and out of shape and fence there. Because when dinosaurs die, they often like go that way. So it looks like they knocked it. That's pretty cool. Nice to, to detail. Attention to detail. And then three from a word long. How many Tijongasaurus is it going to take to learn your lesson? How many have to needlessly die? And there you have it. So that's our PvP missions all done. So it's, oh, it's 60 bucks. 60, never mind, 60 friggin' bucks for the um, the aquatic. And then a guaranteed 55 bucks for that. So there is a lot of bucks you can get in the game. Now, it did seem for a while that Ludi was just taking bucks out constantly, but they've actually put it in, they've put them back in in ways that you can farm for them by just playing the game, which is quite nice. Um, there's also, we do need to complete that. Um, which should pop up eventually. So we've done 20 out of 25. So this time tomorrow, I should be able to have done the hatch three aquatics, hatch three super rares, and literally all I need to do is do the a couple more battles with amphibians, and that's it, really. In fact, I should have done that with the Lemo Lemo Lemos. But guys, I'm just going to have a quick look, because I don't think I have any... Yeah, because I spent books on this, didn't I? <laughs> so I don't have anything really... Uh, waiting for me over here. There's a couple more John Hammond statues that I need to put back into me locker for the uh, for the trade. So I may as well just do that um, and get some books. Always remember, only have John Hammond statues as the ones that um, you have ready to go. Because then when you do the trades, you can get like 300 bucks if a John Hammond comes up. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'm sorry we didn't get to max up the... Um, the Spinosaurus, but I mean, I can only do like, what, two more, maybe, at a push three, um, which is, and then I've got to fuse them to make a level 40, but we do have a Magenta Spinosaurus, and hopefully, sooner rather than later, we'll be able to make it level 40, and then we'll get, we know, every day we're getting closer towards Sarah Magnus, and unlocking that, or Juggernaut, sorry. I'm getting confused between the two. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.